Hello everybody, I have modified my Lee Loadmaster with a couple of little goodies to hopefully uh, improve reliability as far as making sure I'm not trying to put powder into cases with no primer or load bullets into uh, cases with no powder. So how I did this, as you may have seen this in other videos or some versions of this, but I kind of took my own take on it. First of all, you'll see that little green LED. I've got that mounted. I drill any, I believe it was a 5 30 second hole with this particular screw in type LED. I've got that running just temporarily right now. You can see the wires aren't even uh, set correctly yet to a 9 volt battery. It's a 12 volt LED. I figured 9 volts should be fairly safe to run the way it sits, and it so far has been good for. Oh, who knows, days. <clears throat> Next thing I have is, you probably noticed that screen, is I have a wireless endoscope that I bought off of Amazon. It was, I want to say, right around $30 or so. It's got its own little light source as well, which is adjustable, which kind of solves my lighting issue as well as camera issue. And I've got this aimed, and hopefully I don't get off camera too much trying to grab it where it can see into the mouth of the case. You can see, as you can see, there's no powder, but with the light, I can see that there's no powder. Also, I have a case that has no primer in it, and if I place that under the green light here, of course I bump my camera slightly, but I can adjust this as needed. You can see on the screen, that both, I can both see both the empty cartridge and a green light showing me that there's no primer in there. Whereas if that had a primer, you wouldn't see the green light. Pretty cool. Hopefully that'll speed things up so I'm not constantly spot checking everything. The primer system, although a lot of people complain that it's not been reliable, has been very reliable for me. Uh, thus far, anyway. My biggest issue is the powder delivery. Um, 9mm works great. I only really load 9mm in 300 Blackout as of right now. 300 Blackout, since the H110 Hodgen powder is extremely fine, almost dust-like, it doesn't tend to feed very well through it. It jams it up and gets all over the press and makes a mess. So, eventually, I'm going to upgrade to... Most likely one of the Lee lock and load powder systems with the auto delivery so that I can keep my speed on this. We'll see how that goes though. But just one more quick overview. I've got the camera, as you can see with the light there. I've just got that run up over the back. There's the wireless dongle there, which also has a cord. I can plug it in and charge it while it's working if I need to. I'm using an iPad mini. The iPad mini is just displaying using the software what I see on the camera, essentially real time. Does a really good resolution, 720p. I can take video with it if I want to or take photos, no real need to though. And again, the LED system just running through back here to a 9 volt. In the 9 volt, I didn't get my switching box in yet, but I've got it just connected to one. Or if I can press it over, it kind of boop, pop it loose. But the pressure keeps it on, so I kind of have a sort of a little switch there. All right, hopefully this helps somebody. I may put part numbers in Amazon links in the video on YouTube if I upload this to YouTube. We'll see. All right, have a good one. Thanks for watching.